Hello everyone, my name is Shahira, aka Nini. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. Before we get into anything, you guys, let's get grounded with the four elements and that is earth, air, water, and fire, okay? So you guys, today, since I didn't do it yesterday, I'm going to light my pillow since so, but I know some of you guys are looking forward to yesterday, but um, I was just getting back home for the weekend. You know, I had to take my son, uh, you know, just to have some fun. It was all about him and, you know, letting, allowing him to be social. So I was beat yesterday when I got home. Right? I really wasn't in the mood to uh, record. Like after, you know, being away for a few days for the weekend, away from the house, you know, you have to, uh, you know, Settle yourself back in. It's kind of, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but it is a little tiring, okay? It took a lot of energy out of me. So, that's what happened yesterday, you guys. So, let's get on with the Pillow Senso for today. I've cleansed the house already. I think I did enough cleansing for the week, you know, because no one was really here this week. So, I just need my baby's energy. Of course, I cleanse our energy uh, daily. Especially when we have a, you know, guest. Sometimes outside energy can sometimes affect our energy, all right? I'm not going to stay here and trip. All right. Ooh. You guys, I have the window open. It is a hot one today, so uh, whenever you guys are like anything that causes a fair amount of smoke, please make sure you guys are loaded in your rooms by cracking doors and opening windows, Okay. To release the negativity and welcome in the positivity to also avoid setting up any smoke detectors, fire alarms, or sprinklers. Okay, so this palo senso is yeah. It's hitting. Yeah. As you guys know, I also have a little incident lit too. Yeah, I was cleaning and, and, and you know, singing and I have music on, so I'm gonna let that go. Yeah, I gotta get you guys. As my aura, amplify auras, okay? So I have the window open, you guys. You might hear some noise. It is a hot one, so you will hear a lot of people, uh, you know, going by, making noise, just enjoying the weather outside. Um, you know, my apologies in advance if you guys are kind of bothered by the noise. It is what it is, okay? So I have my water element. I think I left my water in the freezer. I have to get it out a little bit, but... I got some chamomile tea, you guys. Yes. I just finished off some kombucha from uh, earlier, but I kind of miss my warm tea, okay? I love me some warm tea. A nice cup of tea. All right. And you guys, my earth element is um the day I don't have the card, uh, the cards right now. I didn't get them out. Um, I have hematite, okay? It's like a grayish metallic a stone okay crystal and um this is great for uh you know fighting back addictions okay trying to you know ward off any negative energy and um this is also great for legal situations you know like uh court battles whether it be uh trials custody battles divorce it's great for uh positive outcomes you know it can help you to manifest anything you, you desire, okay? But have it manifest, you know, in your favor. Um, you know, manifesting the things you do want instead of the things you don't want, okay? And um, this is also great for self-confidence, okay, you guys? So, yeah. Yeah, hematite. I also have some of you guys in my shop as far as my pendants, okay? Um I have the cage pendants. I do have some of these available in my shop. That's heavily, heavily by Goddess B. I will leave the link below this video if you guys are interested in purchasing one for yourself. All right, you guys. So, yes. Since we got all grounded with our energies, you guys. I just want to start off by saying my apologies, okay, for missing, for being missing in action uh, yesterday, okay? Um, like I said, once again, you guys, I had to deal with some... Uh, personal things and also I just had to tend to my baby make sure he is being as social as can be um and also you know staying safe while doing it but he definitely needs a change of scenery um 
it's great for his uh his growth and also for his mental health. So I definitely want to keep that in check. We you know through this whole pandemic because even though you know people people say oh well, things are open uh, you know things are getting better uh, do you really believe that it's going to be over just because they found some vaccine okay pandemic is, is it's not over yet okay so i'm still staying safe um the topic of today you guys want to keep it nice and short today um, I don't want to go on and on and on, but this is something that kind of bothered me because, yeah, I, I, I feel like enough people don't talk about it, you know? They don't know what to expect when they get rejected. And this not even only, uh, you know, as far as romantically, you know, in love, as far as a potential love interest, but also just in life, you know, gen in general, okay? When they get rejected for jobs, uh, different offers, some people don't know how to take it, okay? And you guys, I, I, I picked up my Zodiac deck today, and I got Scorpio. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get into this, all right? So some of you guys might be Scorpio. Um, some of you guys could be uh, also Leo, all right? Could be a Leo with Scorpio placements. I will say Scorpio moon and rising. But um, yeah, you guys, and also in the eighth house. That has things to do with other people's money and also sex. Um, maybe some of you guys are into... Uh, don't get offended by this, this, you guys. I'm not judging anybody, but some people can get into uh, having sex in order to manifest what they want. You know, manifesting things through their sexual energy. Um, sometimes uh, it can come off as sometimes getting into relationships just to gain something all right even though i do feel like some relationships are based on love others are based on uh transactions okay mutual transactions and some aren't okay so uh yeah wherever you fit you know choose where you fit okay and also you guys this smoke is just i can't remove this incense all right i'm gonna move it yeah okay yeah so some of you guys can be uh experiencing some type of rejection okay through not only through sex but also financially through manifestations maybe some of you guys are feeling blocked in that area um and that is more in your sacral okay your, your sacral chakra sacral chakra and also root chakra and hematite you guys is great for the root chakra balancing the root chakra so like i said maybe some of you guys are struggling with manifesting uh your desires, you know, trying to manifest things to come into fruition. Maybe some of you guys feel like it's blocked because you guys are intertwined, okay? Sometimes giving away your sexual energy um, to other people can sometimes drain you from your um, own your own desires, okay? Your own abundance of desires uh, manifesting, all right? Say if... Uh, Okay, I'm going to give you guys an example. Say if you guys are, uh, you know, going for a, 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 your dream job, okay? I'm going to say your dream job. Your dream job or going for something you really want. You guys have been so focused, but um, lately you guys feel yourself kind of distracted by other people, you know, other people around you, not only other people, but a particular person, um, maybe a person you're having sex with, maybe a friends with benefits type of person, Um and deep down inside, you guys know that, you know, this person has been a distraction from your manifestations. You know, you're, you're giving away your, your energy, your focus to this person, okay? And if you guys realize that you are being drained in some way or are losing your spark, okay, your drive to do something, uh, maybe you guys may need to reevaluate who you're spending your time with or who you guys are giving your energy to, specifically your sexual energy, because this person or these people could be blocking you okay all right so you guys definitely look out for that and pay attention to uh the red flags when it comes to um troubles and blocks in your manifestations some of you guys might have writer's block um some of you guys might be uh writing music um some of you guys could be ghost writers okay 
or uh, poets, you guys do, don't know what to uh, write next. So maybe you guys are thinking about writing a book, but don't know how to uh, end the book, okay? I've seen a lot of creative uh, people. And when, I'm, when, I, when I see this, you guys, uh, I see, uh, <laughs> maybe some of you guys are creators, you know, bloggers. You guys could be a, a YouTube creator. And you guys don't know what to create next, all right? I see this person, like, it's like a, a person stirring up something in a cauldron, okay, with a stick. Like a witch. So you guys could be looked at as a witch or uh, you guys could be a high priestess, you know, into the esoteric type of uh, that world, all right? Into the metaphysical. Like I said, you guys could be uh, Scorpio or Leo, Scorpio placements. I'm, I'm getting that heavy. And also, um, you could have some placements in the eighth house. Scorpio or Leo in the eighth house, okay? Yeah. I don't know why. I If I offend somebody, I offend someone. You know, it, it isn't my intention, but, you know, my apologies. I'm definitely seeing that some people could be uh, sleeping with people for money. Uh, whatever you guys do, you know, do it if you have to, if you're not hurting anyone. Um, but I definitely want to say be safe, okay, you guys? I'm trying to manifest money through uh, sex, you know? Or happen into relationships, feeling like you're going to gain something if you give a person uh, sex, all right? Because that, that doesn't always turn out right. So once again, you guys, please be careful who you are uh, extending your, your sexual energy to because that person or those people, you know, maybe blocking your... Uh, your money flow, your cash flow, your abundance, your stability in some way. Okay, you know, being a, uh, uh, you know, just hypnotized by the by the peen or you know or the pom pom. Okay, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna keep it a little PG. Um, yeah, that's that's not the way to go. But you guys, let me get into the quick um, just a quick message, you guys. Um, about rejection. I saw this this guy, okay, walking down the street on my my walk with my son, okay, and you know he was just minding his business. He was he was handsome, okay. He was attractive in my in my eyes and also the woman's eyes, okay. So this young woman and her little friends, you know, they're laughing, giggling. I think he looked like he was about I'll say uh, I'll say mid twenties, okay, mid twenties, you know, leaning towards thirty, but probably not. He looked good, okay, so. He could have been older, who knows? But the the women, you can tell they were a little uh, immature, a little young minded. They were laughing and giggling. Oh my goodness, he looks so good. You know, he's in his car, you know, trying to fix something. Um, he had the hood popped and everything. So they're like, hey, hey, um, hey, what's you know, they they're trying to holler at him, you know, talk to him. Hey, what's up? What's your name and everything? First of all, the way they all approached him, it was like uh, four girls, okay? One in particular was like the ringleader. I can just tell. They're all giggling and laughing. It looked like they're about, like, I'll say like 20s in their 20s, their, their early 20s, okay? So like I said, he was really handsome. He was really attractive. But they're like, hey, hey, what's your name? Hey, hey, sir. Hey, hey, sir. What's your name, you know? So he's looking at them like, who are they talking to? I looked at him. He looked at me. You know, I'm still walking with my son. Um... You know, so this is all happening at the corner of the light right before I get to the park with my son, okay? So I was I'm waiting for the cars to come by and everything um, to cross. They're like, you know, why are you not answering? Why are you not answering? And so he was like, um, I'm not interested. I'm doing something right now. I'm kind of busy. So they all howled, you ugly as hell anyway. <laughs> and your shoes raggedy. Your car look old as fuck. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, why are they... I mean, they went in on him, okay? And, you know, and I, I, I just, some people do not know how to take rejection, okay? If uh, you guys are rejected in some way, um, take it for what it is. Never try to take it, uh, you know, personally. He was really busy. He really was busy. He was busy fixing his car, you know? And when men fix their car, um, 
they're really into a certain activity, they're not going to pay any women, uh, anyone, okay? Woman, man, whoever they're into, any mind, especially when they have a uh, their their attention is focused on something that they are really into okay so if some women are kind of um and i'm not saying every man okay i'm not making excuses for anyone not even just a, it's not just a woman and a man thing but if someone is really into something or really busy um their attention is focused on something that they're actually uh you know interested in or into they're not going to pay your ass no mind so um when a person rejects you they have their own personal reasons for why they reject you. You know, they don't have to explain to you. They don't have to tell you, you know, rejection is rejection. Um, take it for what it is. And it, it really is protection. Okay. So um, they don't know what that man was, you know, what was going on in his head. I, no one has a right to approach someone and push up on someone and try to force them to, uh, you know, um, you know, share their energy, you know, extend their energy to, to them. All right. Like, they were straight wrong, you know, and they they, they went to uh, as far as being immature and calling him ugly and his shoes wasn't right and uh, his car looked old anyway, you know, uh, which wasn't true. OK, their feelings were, were definitely hurt. And that's why they, they said what they said. But um, I just really thought that was kind of. Um, it was just unnecessary. OK, I, I've not only saw that around my neighborhood or. Um, with people that I know, but I also experienced it myself, you know, I've rejected plenty of people and I definitely have my reasons. Um, like I said, when someone rejects you, it's, it's not anything personal. I mean, sometimes you're not, you're not what they, what they want. Okay. You're not what they like. Um, it could, it could be taken, you know, or they're just not interested in dealing with anyone because they have their own issues. Some people could be mentally ill, you know. Some people have their own demons, their own situations, circumstances they are dealing with. So um, before you guys, you know, go off on someone or attack someone for rejecting you, um, you know, reevaluate why that rejection, you know, is affecting you or triggering you to the core like that. All right. Do you have, uh, you know, abandonment issues? Do you have acceptance issues? Um, you guys have to look within and deal with that, okay? Some of you, not all of you, all right? So if this doesn't apply or you guys um, aren't having trouble with this uh, certain topic, this certain thing, you know, about rejection, don't take it, okay? Leave it for what it is. Don't come in my comments like, oh, you know, you can disagree with me on some things, Um but try to do it respectfully, okay, you guys? I always tell you guys your feedback is definitely welcome. Um, just please don't start attacking me, you know, you know, with the, with the comments, with the negative comments. You can disagree, but do it respectfully, all right, you guys? This channel is all about respect, all right? Okay? So we're going to keep it there. But, um, yeah, like I said, rejection. When well, some people attack you after you guys reject them, that kind of you know, it kind of justifies the rejection. Like, damn, if, if you're going to call me out my name, you know, start attacking me, calling me, you know, all kinds of names, talking about me in a negative way, you know, spill your negativity. That is the reason why I rejected your ass. Okay. That, that definitely justifies the rejection. This is why. So, you know, some people could be, like I said, really going through a lot of issues. It could be health issues, um, mental health issues. Um, they, they could be taken. It's, it's, it's a lot of reasons why um, you get rejected, okay? And it's not your your place to try to figure out why. Just, you know, like I said, once again, take it for what it is and let it go. Let it fly. Because everything else afterwards, your nasty reactions is unnecessary. Okay, you guys? Um like I said, you guys, I definitely had to deal with some of these, these uh, situations throughout life, not only in my neighborhood, but also just um, interactions with, with uh, you know, potential love interests, okay? Um, even exes, some of them still come back, still flirt with me, still push up on me, and I'm like, no, okay, I'll try to reject them in a nice, you know, um, in, in a really, you know, gentle and calm way. But if you're constantly pushing up on someone, um, you know, that's not a good look. You're just looking desperate and thirsty. You know, you're just, uh, 
you know, making the situation worse or making it more uncomfortable. The rejection feels, uh, you know, a, a little more uh, malicious, you know, than it should. You're, some people do that. I've had some people ask me of my sexual orientation. I mean, um, just just for the record, you guys, I I, I love I love men. I'm into just men. Okay, I, I'm straight. You know, I, I don't have anything against anyone else sexual preference okay but i know what i am and who i am and i have people ask me on me oh my gosh are you into something else are you are you gay are you bi no no i'm not i just i rejected you and i'm gonna leave it what it is you know um like i said you shouldn't have to feel like you should uh you know explain to other people why you reject them you just you're rejecting them you have your reasons you're allowed to have your reasons you're allowed to keep it to yourself so if you guys are, um, find yourself rejecting someone and they're, they're not taking it um and you guys have to be, you know, reduced down to, uh, you guys got to reduce your behavior down to, uh, you know, fussing someone out or hurting them, you know, do what you feel like is justified because like I said, no one should be pushing them on you or trying to force you to explain, um, your rejection. Okay. For you rejecting them or to, um, you know, take any of their backlash or retaliation for uh, you rejecting them. You don't have to take that shit, you know? So, and I'm definitely going to say, you guys, if you are rejecting someone, please be gentle, all right? Start off with, with gentleness, okay? With ease. And, you know, like I said, if it escalates, then uh, do what you feel like you need to, okay? Walk away if you need to. Um, as long as it is... Uh, you know, safe for everyone involved is specifically you, okay? And for those of you who are facing rejection or find it hard to accept the rejection, just know that it is definitely a reason for the rejection and take it as a protection, okay? Um, it, it is a lot of people out here, these little young girls, I've, I've, I've read about sometimes these young girls pushing up on these grown men, okay? Hot little girls, um, not knowing what they're getting themselves into, they end up dealing with someone who is extra abusive, you know, um, who is just not for them or end up dealing with someone who uh, affects their life in a really negative way. They just wish they hadn't. So you guys um, remember, once again, when you guys are going through some sort of rejection that is kind of triggering your ego, remember, um, it is definitely for a reason, okay? You guys shouldn't take a personal... And if it is triggering you guys um, to the max, please look deep inside. Take some time out to reflect, okay? And figure out uh, why, okay? Why is it affecting you on a really deep level so negatively? Okay, you guys? Um, <laughs> look, you guys, look. Wow, this is a synchronous to you guys. You know, in my hematite, I think in my crystal deck, my hematite is like eight. It reduces down to eight, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And you guys, I got the Scorpio, eight. And then I got the letting go, okay, 26, which is, uh, re which you added up, it, you know, reduces down to eight. Letting go. Some people don't know how to let go of reduction, you know? I definitely had people, um, like stalk me, call me names, uh, throw things, yeah, throw things at me. And it all starts for self-love. Uh, why look outside of yourself for validation or for uh, acceptance um, from other people if you don't accept yourself? You can't accept yourself. Uh, well, you can't love yourself until you start to accept yourself for who you are and what you are, okay? How can you possibly you know, expect others to accept you? Love yourself first. Yes. <laughs> this sexuality, you guys. Oh, you know what I'm saying, you guys? Someone could be getting into a relationship, okay? Getting into a relationship, they know they shouldn't because they're, they're expecting to gain something from it. I'm getting, in particular, money. And this person is rejecting you. You guys don't understand why this person is rejecting you. Or this per you might have money. You guys are going after someone. And, um, you know, this person is rejecting you. You don't understand why. You're like, I have money. I have this. I have that. You know, once again, you guys, self-love. <laughs> Love yourself first. Um, 
this person is like rejecting the hell out of you, but you don't know why. Um, you guys, whenever you are going towards anyone, you guys are courting someone, you guys are um, interested in being with someone, please make sure you guys get to know them well enough to know what their values are, okay? Because everyone doesn't value what you value. Um, everyone isn't interested in what you're interested in. You can't impress a person um, that can't be impressed by, you know, material things. Um, if you have a person who is more into the intellectual, okay, it takes um, knowledge to impress them. It takes, um, you know, emotions, a show of emotions um, to, to impress them. Um, please, please know that, okay? Try to get to know a person before you push up on them, okay? Or, or uh, try to, you know, force yourself into their, their world, their space, their life, okay? You can't impress someone, um, you know, who can't be impressed by material things, like having a car, um, having a big ass house, having a whole bunch of money doesn't make you a great person. And some people can look past the superficial. Some people aren't uh, driven, okay? They're not easily impressed by those things. So like I said, you guys, before you impress someone, make sure that person, um, Make sure that person is um can be impressed by those things. Yeah. Pride, you guys. Sometimes pride can get in the way. Your pride can definitely uh have you, you know, crossing people's boundaries, trying to force them or make them tell you <laughs> self-love, you guys. Again, this is the third time. Trying to force them and make them uh tell you why they rejected your ass. Some people you know, like I said, could be going through a lot of health issues, mental health issues. Um, they could have went through a lot of grief. You know, they're, they're losing parts of themselves or they've lost someone close to them. You don't know what a person is going through, but don't always, uh, you know, assume that it has something to do with you and just you alone. No, people are definitely fighting their own battles for sure. So, yeah, life isn't just about you. Whoever is watching this, whoever um, has issues accepting rejection. Um, it's another thing, too. I'm getting this. And I don't want to make people, people feel uncomfortable. But some people um, are out here, you know, and, and infected with diseases. And they say to themselves because they're trying to protect other people. You know, you have other people who are like, well, since I have it, I'm going to spread it to everyone else. You know? So if you are being rejected in some way by someone and you don't understand, um, you know, despite all your efforts to uh, show them you're interested and they're, they're still rejecting you, it's definitely for a reason. You guys should should, should definitely um, appreciate that and take it for what it is, okay? It is, it, is, it is God protecting you, okay? It is your spirit guys protecting you. Something is protecting you. The person probably is protecting you. So um, you guys definitely re re keep that in mind, okay? Remember that. All right, let it go. You got rejected, let it go. You have other people in life who are going to um who are going to be for you, who are gonna accept you, who who aren't gonna reject you, okay? So yeah, let it go, please. Money, okay, cannot make a person love you. All right, money doesn't impress everyone, material gains doesn't impress everyone. Having status, having a title doesn't impress everyone. So once again, you guys, when you guys are trying to impress us someone or trying to avoid rejection, make sure you guys understand or make an effort to try to understand another person's, um, what makes another person tick, okay? What impress another person, okay? Um, another person's values, what they value the most in life, okay? So yes, yes, you guys. Definitely love yourself first and try to work on your solar plexus chakra. Um, that is all about the confidence. All right, and also your sacral, because I definitely see that someone might be um having sex with someone to gain money and it's not working. Okay, you're not getting what you want. 
Um, definitely be careful with that. Or someone is, is constantly throwing out money in order to get sex and they're not getting it. Okay, let that let, let it go. Let that shit go, okay? Let that person go, let it go, all right? You know, go within, you know, like like a like a Scorpio and figure out, you know, and figure out the why, figure out the mystery within, figure out the mystery of yourself. Okay, figure out why you are uh struggling with letting this go. Or struggling with uh accepting the rejection for what it is. Okay. Someone definitely needs needs to hear this uh message today. All right. And you guys, I do apologize for not um, uploading yesterday. Um, you know, you guys I already told you guys I don't really think I'll be uploading every single Wednesday. I'll try to upload at least twice or three times a week, but you know, life happens sometimes. And until I'm one A really um, I got my schedule down packed, you know, because I do have to include my son. Um, his schedule is kind of different from mine, okay? So, you know, school is, I have to sign up for school. It is approaching, um, you know, sign up time is between now and August. So I have to get things done between that time. So, yeah, you guys, I'm really focusing on me and my baby as of right now. And um, when I get some time, I definitely will, you know, upload more, dish out more, extend my energy to you guys a little bit more than I, I am currently. So you guys, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you guys found something useful or helpful, please, you guys, um, you can share it if you like. I don't mind. And you guys leave your feedback because it is definitely welcome. And also, you guys, um, subscribe if you're already subscribed so you can get more soulful videos like this, healing session videos like this. And that is every Sunday, okay? unless otherwise and also you guys um maybe like i said maybe wednesdays um you guys will get a pick a card sometime this week okay you guys i'm not gonna promise you the exact day but maybe you'll get it later on today maybe tomorrow who knows you know maybe if you're lucky so yes you guys thank you so much for tuning into this session today and tuning in with me you guys have a beautiful beautiful day and until next time um, bye